Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the 28th of October. It's a little bit chilly out there, but at least we have some sunshine that has returned back to the forecast. We uh, fly down into the uh, Gulf of Mexico and you can see the swirling mass uh, of cloud cover. This is color enhanced satellite imagery, so it's showing us where the coldest cloud tops are, where the best convection is. That's the thunderstorm activity. That is Hurricane Zeta and it is screaming towards the coastline of Louisiana. This is currently a category one hurricane. Uh, it has wind sustained at 90 miles per hour. They are gusting to about 115. Here's the good news about this hurricane. If there's a takeaway here, it's that it's moving very quickly to the north at about 18 miles per hour. So yes, there's going to be storm surge. Yes, there's going to be a fair amount of rain with it. There's going to be wind, no question about it. But it is moving so quickly that the effects of the uh, flooding rains will be mitigated. So these are all hurricane warnings up along the Louisiana coastline, the Alabama coastline, the Mississippi coastline, and the western Florida panhandle there. So it hits, we believe, as a category one, a strong category one uh, as we get into the evening hours, and then it races off just around the Atlanta area and then exits uh, the mid-Atlantic. I think all the moisture, the rain from this system will stay south of our area. Some of the residual cloud cover will make it in here uh, as we head through uh, tonight and into the day tomorrow, but that's about all we're going to see. How much rain are they talking from this system? Well, it is a fast mover, but it still is likely to deliver anywhere from about three to six inches of rain across these areas and even across Kentucky, Tennessee, just around and north of the Atlanta area. But again, all that moisture will stay south of Michigan. Remember earlier in the week where our forecast models were showing it could get this far north, uh, but that is not going to be the case. We don't have anything on radar right now, and you can see the big hole in the cloud cover out here. So with beautiful sunny skies, it's chilly, and with a southwest wind at 10 to 20 miles per hour, it feels a little cooler than it really is outside. So you'll still need a jacket as yet out today, but with the sunshine, we should crack the 50 degree mark. So we are in the 40s in all locations here. Intrakin is 40 degrees there in Montcalm County, 44 in Big Rapids down to the south, you'll find we have 43 in Grand Rapids, 40 in Clarksville. Down to the south, we're about 40, 42, 43 degrees. Uh, Soresco is 39, and we're also 39, way down to the border there in Constantine. So it is a slow go to get to that spot, but we hope to crack the 50 degree mark. We're forecasting 51 here. Sunny to just mostly sunny skies, uh, a bit warmer than the last couple of days, and breezy with a southwest wind at about 10 to 20 miles per hour. So here's what it looks like on our computer forecast model we call Future Track. These lines that you see moving across the screen, those are what we call wind stream lines. They show us the flow here at the surface, so they are coming out of the southwest, and that's our wind today. The flow is, in fact, out of the southwest, and you can see there are longer lines. They're moving pretty fast. That shows that there's a brisk wind out there. As we go through the day, we're talking and mainly sunny skies here. This is at 6 p.m. Watch the cloud cover begin to thicken up. Not early, but through the overnight hours, we go mostly cloudy from the clouds coming up from Hurricane Zeta and also a cold front that's working in here. Tomorrow is going to be more of a mainly cloudy day that will hold our temperatures down just a little bit. But at the end of tomorrow, we may begin to clear the skies out again. High pressure will build in as we get into Friday. I think we'll see some sunshine, but it is going to be noticeably cooler. That high pressure area stays in control for Saturday. That's important because it's Halloween and then this next system will move in here. By the time we get into Sunday, temperatures will fall cold, raw, brisk and uh, maybe some rain and snow showers by that time. So today we're cracking hopefully 50, 51 degrees here with lots of sunshine, 47 for tomorrow with mainly cloudy skies, but it looks like a dry day. We're in the mid 40s on Friday with a little bit of sunshine in here. Saturday is Halloween. We should be in the low to mid 50s. It is going to be breezy on Saturday, but at least it'll be dry and we'll pick up some sunshine probably by six o'clock for the trick or treaters on Saturday about 52 degrees and then Saturday night into Sunday morning a strong cold front comes in here that 44 degrees will occur early on Sunday because the temperatures will fall throughout the day. Uh, we're talking about lake effect and lake enhanced rain and snow showers, windy, cold, blustery, and we eventually warm up by election day into the mid 50s. So you can't use. I couldn't get to the polls because of the weather because the weather looks pretty good. And one more caveat here. Be sure to turn the clocks back one hour on Saturday night because we return to Eastern Standard Time. It's going to get dark at about 545 on Sunday and beyond. Savannah.